It turns out that Perry carried a very different type of Y chromosome never seen before. Every male has a Y chromosome, which is a piece of DNA inherited by sons from their fathers. But unlike most DNA, the Y chromosome is not shuffled as it is passed down and changes only slowly through mutation. Tracking these mutations allows scientists to create a genetic tree of fathers and sons going back through time. As a man may have several sons or none, some branches of the genetic tree die out each generation while others become more common. Going back through time, it is therefore inevitable that all modern Y chromosomes must descend from one man at some point in the past. He has become known as Y chromosomal Adam. This Adam was not the first man or the only man from his time to contribute to modern human DNA. It is just that, by chance, his Y chromosome was the only one to survive until today. What is surprising about Perry's Y chromosome is that it did not descend from Y chromosomal Adams. Or rather that the established Adam has lost his title to a new Adam further back in time, where Perry's branch split from the tree. While the former, Adam, is estimated to have lived around 200-2000 years ago, the revised one is thought to be about 338,000 years old.